This is Chris Idaho Painter here on Paint Life TV. Today I'm going to be talking about drop cloths. I had an employee just uh, recently use some drop, drop cloths and we were painting some furniture, brushing and rolling some furniture on drop cloths. The paint bled through the drop cloth onto the floor. So I'm going to talk about drop cloths, how you stop that from happening, why it happened. So if you want to know why drop cloths bleed or how to stop paint from bleeding through them, stay tuned for this video. All right, so we were, uh, or some employees were painting some drop, or uh, painting some furniture on some drop cloths uh, and dripping paint on the drop cloth. They were painting the feet and stuff, getting it on a drop cloth. And, and naturally, they assumed the drop cloth was going to protect the floor. And it's kind of a laminate floor underneath it. I'm going to talk a little about drop, about drop cloths themselves just in general. So drop cloths themselves, you're going to see on here, it says eight ounces. Now drop cloths come, you can find them. It'll say six ounces, eight ounces, 10 ounces, 12 ounces. I've even seen them all the way up to uh, 16 ounces. And what does that actually mean? That's the weight of the drop cloth. And, and to put it simply, kind of like the thickness of the drop cloth, the more ounces it is, the thicker it is, the, the heavier it weighs. And um, so the material itself, I'm not a material or a cloth expert, but the, the more ounces there are, the thicker the material is gonna be and the tighter um, the canvas is gonna be woven. So the thicker the drop cloth, the more likely it is that paint is not going to bleed through it. Are you enjoying the video so far? Are you finding it helpful? Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notified every time we come out with more of this free content. And now let's get back to the video. So once again, we have you know, different thicknesses in drop cloths, eight ounces. Um, I mean, you can get them as low as six ounces. Now, I would never recommend buying a six ounce drop cloth for anything. So they're just too thin. They're not gonna really serve any purpose. Now an eight ounce drop cloth, they're great for runners. They're great um, for um, when you're just rolling, when you're spraying and stuff. Now these drop cloths, they're not designed for you to spill paint on them um, and keep paint from bleeding through. So what was happening, we had some furniture, you know, sitting on these drop cloths. Um, the employees were painting, brushing and rolling and paint was getting on around the feet and stuff like that. And that's actually quite a bit of paint getting on the drop cloth and that paint is actually going to bleed through. What happens with a drop cloth like this, an eight ounce drop cloth, a six ounce drop cloth, if you were to spill paint on it, you have a short amount of time before you got to get that drop cloth up, take it like outside, take it to a location where you can drape it over something and it'll actually dry out. It's not going to stop the paint from permeating through and getting on your surface. It's giving you a certain amount of time to get um, the, the disaster or the scenario up and out of there. Now, when it comes to just stippling paint coming off, uh, rolling a wall or overspray, something like that, they're very effective for um, for that because it's just tiny droplets of paint. The drop, cloth, the drop cloth is gonna absorb those droplets and it's not going to go through the canvas. Now, if you're spilling paint, um, if you're getting a lot of paint on these drop cloths, there's drop cloths that are made specifically to be um, to keep paint from bleeding through it. And we've got butyl drop cloths. Butyl drop cloths are a canvas that's coated with a rubber and sometimes on one side, typically on both sides. Those drop cloths are a lot heavier and they're more expensive. So you, you typically, when you're going up uh, from ounces, like six ounces all the way up to like a 12 ounce drop cloth, a 12 ounce is gonna be significantly more expensive than a six ounce because it's gonna give you more protection. There's more material and it's tighter woven. So more material, you know, it means more cost. There's also drop cloths that are, um, they're plastic coated and some of them have just a, like a plastic um, film on one side. I don't recommend that because the, the plastic film tears really easily. And and then it makes those drop cloths ineffective. There's rubber coated ones that have non-slip um, surfaces like the Trameco, um, the, or not the Trameco, the cover grip drop cloth. And those little beads of um, rubber on it that make it non-slip um, do make it um, a little bit more effective um, from paint bleeding through it. But these drop cloths right here, eight ounce, um, don't expect them to, if you were to spill, you know, a pint of paint on it to keep paint from bleeding through. If you drop a brush, a brush that was loaded up with paint or a roller that was loaded up on a paint on a drop cloth like this, 
it's probably the paint's probably going to bleed through in about five minutes and it's going to get on your floor if you drop the brush a roller on like a 12 ounce drop cloth it's probably not going to bleed through but it's still a good idea to lift that drop cloth up get something underneath it allow air there for it to dry once it's dried then um the paint's not going to bleed through. Also, if you spill paint on a drop cloth, don't fold it up until it's completely dried and cured because the paint's going to stick to each other. When you go to unfold it, uh, it's going to possibly tear your drop cloth. A little bit about drop cloths, a little bit about the weight of drop cloths and the money. You know, um, I typically uh, don't like buying drop cloths that are eight ounces, um, six or eight ounces, because they're just not as effective. Uh, you're just gonna have to spend more money. Try to get something more like a 10 ounce drop cloth. Try to get cover, here's, this is a cover get drop cloth. It's got um, all these rubber beads on the back of it. And so that all that rubber and stuff does make it a little bit more effective you know, to keep in paint from bleeding through them. So there you have it. So information on drop cloths, why drop cloths bleed. bleed. If you've got any information about drop cloths that's gonna help us in this scenario, just leave it down in the comment section below. We learn from you just like you learn from us. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. If you don't hit the notification bell, it does nothing to subscribe. It just sends you an email every time we come out with a new video. That's it. We're not going to market to you. We're not going to try to sell you anything. Simple and easy to do. If you've enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. We would really appreciate it. We'll see you next time right here on Paint Life TV.